Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. It really helps me out and you never want to miss a video of mine. So, um, I'm so sorry guys. I have not uh, filmed the video in a very, very long time. So I'm so sorry about that. Say hi. Aww. Did the poodle. Okay. I love his little cross eye. There you go. Okay. So, anyway, um, I am so sorry that I have not filmed in a really long time. Um, I've been busy with bad stuff and um, just a lot of stuff going on. So, I just kind of haven't posted. And also, if you guys saw in my last video how bad the quality was, I got really mad at that. And so, I couldn't fix it. And so, I just kind of gave up. But today's video is going to be water bottles or water bowls or bowls. Um... I feel like this is a very common question when it comes to hamster owners. They're always like, oh, do you use a bowl or do you use a water bowl? And then if you maybe use the other one, you kind of are against the other one, which personally, I don't have a preference. I have used both. I kind of like both. Um, so I don't really have a preference, but I feel like that is a very common thing when it comes to hamster care hamster community and there are people out there that like go off of one thing a lot more um but there are people that push one more than the other and that's totally okay because you can do that in the hamster community and if you think that that is the right one then push it do what you want um so yeah today's video is going to be water bottles versus water bowls um also, if you have never watched one of my care videos, I go off scripts, which I have written, um, but I just want to make sure that I get pa I get through everything and I don't miss anything. So that's why I go off of a script. So if it sounds like I get, I'm going off a script, that's why. I think I've gotten a little bit better at it than my, my first video that I did with the script. Um, but yeah, so Anyway, so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm just going to talk about the pros and cons that I think are with both of them. They're both pretty even. I don't have my, I don't have a preference, honestly, so I feel like this is a good video for me, um, but I tried to do it pretty well where it's like both ones show good and bad. So yeah, um, so I'm going to go over the pros and then I'm going to go over the cons of that one. Um, I think I'm gonna probably do like bottles and bottles and then bowls and bowls. So I'm gonna start with bottles, which is what I use the most, um, like for my mice. I don't really recommend a water uh, dish or a bowl for mice at all. I will say that I don't recommend for mice, but I'm talking about hamsters here. So, um, so I'm just gonna go over the pros. Um, so one easy placement, which I mean, it's not, you don't need a flat surface for it. You don't need to have like a wooden piece and then the bottle on it. Like you just can put it and hang it on to the glass or whatever cage you have. It's easily placed, um, which my next one is, you don't need a flat surface for it. So you don't need to have a special thing for that bottle. You just can have it in the cage. Easy to find in stores. I feel like it's very common in every store. Like you can even get one at Walmart. Um, obviously the pet stores, there's a lot of places that you can just get them. Um, I feel like they're very easy to find. And then a hamster knows how to use them, which I'll get to this later on into the bowl one, but I'm not, I'm not going to put that as like, that's such a big pro, but like, I don't know. I feel like it's all hamsters know how to use it, but I'll get to it when it comes to the bowls. I'll talk a little bit more into that. Um, and so then, yeah, that's all my <laughs> pros. It's kind of hard to find pros of a water bottle, but yeah. Um, and now this is the cons for the bottles. It holds a lot of water, which you would think, oh, that's so, that's like such a pro. Like it holds a lot of water, so I don't have to change it often, uh, which I don't agree with. I think it's really bad that water bottles hold a lot of water because then people put in or fill in then people fill the water bottle all the way up and you really shouldn't be doing that. You should be changing the water every three to four days or, you know, two to three days. Uh, so I don't like that they have a lot of water that can hold in there because then it 
promotes just filling it up all the way and then when it's empty then empty it uh but so like with ivy my hamster i also that was pluto um with ivy my hamster i change every three to four days and then with my mice i actually don't have to change their water bottle like i don't have to dump any water out or anything like that because they drink all their water just because i have four mice so they drink all their water so i don't even have to worry about changing it i just and I just refill it, so that's awesome. Um, anyway, uh, not the best for their necks, so uh, it's like, it depends on how, what the height is and where you have it and how old your hamster is and if it's facing downwards or if it's facing that crooked way, it, it really depends on that water bottle. But I'll show a picture of like a, a hamster that obviously looks uncomfortable drinking from a water bottle. Um, I think you just have to really test out different ones and everything like that. Like my water bottles, I have tried, I think three different ones for IV because it just wasn't the right length. Um, and then with my mice, I, it right away clicked. But you know, sometimes you have to level it out and sometimes you have to use a different bottle and like, that's just what happens. Um, so it's not, uh, don't ever use a water bottle because it hurts their back, but you just have to really work with it and make sure that their backs are not hurting or their neck, neck slash back. Um, and then also with the, holds a lot of water, it causes bacteria. So it, I mean, both of them cause bacteria, but plastic does get more, more bacteria than ceramic, which usually your water bottles will be, or your, your water bottles will be either glass or plastic. And then the dishes, the water dishes or the water bowls will be, it's only ceramic, maybe glass. You could probably use a glass one as well, which again, those two, it will cause bacteria, but it won't cause as much of it. And then you need Velcro for them. So that is a little annoying that like, I feel like even with the water bowls, you need something so they're a flat on a flat surface. But with the water bottles, you need Velcro to hang them. Or if you have those ones that hook over like things, because I have the IKEA Diloft, so I just use one of those. And then for my mices, I use Velcro. So that kind of sucks sometimes. Okay, moving on to bowls. This is the pros of the bowls. Um, good for the hamster's back slash neck because it's at the right level. They're not having to go upwards and like trying to reach it. They're just at the same level of them. Um, fresh water every day. So with water bowls, you need to change them every single day. There is no exception. You just need to change them every single day, um, which you'll get i'll get to the cons of that and i'll talk a little bit more about that but yeah um natural for them so like if they're going to be you know out in the wild they're not going to be facing upwards looking for their water they're going to just go into a little pond and get it so it's like very natural length like i was talking about it's not uncomfortable for them it's just very natural and then very cute <laughs> i put very cute because one you get to see their tongue and two it just is really cute watching a hamster drink from a bowl than a bottle i don't know why it's just very cute all right moving on to the cons with the bowls my first one is gets bacteria fast and this is why i put it as my first one because the thing is, is it's open. It's not closed in a little bottle. The bottle, it happens when it causes bacteria. What happens is it sits there and that's the only way that it's gonna really cause bacteria. But since the bowl is open and it's just left out in the open, it's gonna cause more bacteria faster than the bottle. Even though, yes, it's ceramic and so it's not gonna get it as fast, it's open. So it's open to all this bacteria instead of it being closed into a bottle and just sitting there and then it's gonna cause the bacteria, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense, but, um, and then hard to find them, definitely hard to find them. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of places that you can get them, but like, I feel like at the pet store, they don't sell them. They sell food bowls, but you want to make sure that the, bo the bowl is like around that size. You don't want it to be the size of a food bowl because hamsters can't go in water, like hamsters, can't get wet so you need to make sure that it's only a size where they can just drink out of it if you can't find any small enough ones then you can get a dish like a food dish and then put a bunch of rocks in them so they can't climb into it and get 
so to change them every day which i don't think is well it is kind of annoying because if you don't want to change the bowl every single day then it's gonna suck because you might not want to change the bowl every day so i put that on on as a con but like i don't know some people it might not be a con too but you do have to change it every day besides instead of three to four days and then this is what i wanted to go a little bit more into detail in is some hamsters don't know how to use them now this is not every single hamster it only takes maybe one to two days for your hamster to understand what a bowl is um now i've used my i've used bowls for um ivy and then avery avery was my first hamster ever and i used it like when she was a little bit older because i was just worried about her and she just never got the hang of it i feel like i don't really i never saw her do it and then i was scared that the bacteria was gonna build up and i didn't want to change every day so yeah um she never she got all right one, it's me editing um i actually lied to you guys because when i first first got avery i didn't think of a water bottle i don't know why but we didn't get a water bottle when we first got her and so we got two little bowls i don't know why we got a bigger one and one smaller but i used the smaller one for a water dish because we didn't have a water bottle and uh so i don't know if she ever actually used it but we ended up getting her obviously a water bottle but i don't know if she ever used it so i lied to you guys never learned how to use it um i don't think i ever used one for elliot just because i had nowhere to put it in his cage without getting bedding into it and stuff like that or getting it buried or anything like that so i never used one for elliot but um ivy i have used it because i have a multi-chamber hide for her and that's where you want to put it on top of or just some there that's flat surface where it's not going to get buried by bedding or um you know it's not gonna wobble or anything like that because you obviously don't want spilt water in your cage uh but yeah so she's used it and she knows how to do it right away so it's just kind of funny some hamsters don't know how to use it and that's it might take them only like a week to figure it out uh but some hamsters know right away how to use it so i just wanted to include that in there just because to add one more in there um all right okay so water bottles or bowls now like i've said at the beginning some people just have a preference and some people don't have a preference like me i've used both of them i go towards bottles just because it's a little bit easier um but there's no right or wrong answer um it's really up to the owner because if you have a preference and you're like oh my god bowls are dangerous and not okay for hamsters then you're gonna use bowls you're not gonna use bottles and opposite thing around i mean they're both uh i'll get to that there is some good and bad to both that but that doesn't make one dangerous that doesn't make just because they both have a right and a wrong like i went over the pros and cons that doesn't mean that doesn't make one of them dangerous um the only way that one of them would be dangerous is definitely the bowl and that is if you're using a too big of one so yeah that is the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video um let me know down in the comments below which one you use and which one is your preference or if you don't have a preference um so yeah uh, i hope this helped one person out i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye guys